My name is Ernie Hawk. I serve as the Vice President of Cancer Prevention and Population Sciences at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. This conference will concentrate on environmental factors that have not yet been definitively proven to be associated with cancer and so it opens up an entirely new area for cancer etiology and the potential of translating that into prevention. Scientists will come to hear the latest advances in the field of environmental carcinogenesis from biomarkers that might determine risk to measures, uh, various assays that might be able to predict exposure, particularly over the longer haul, as well as how to translate those findings into meaningful risk assessments for patients as well as um, people living in the population broadly, and hopefully then translate that into preventive interventions. The whole variety of topics will be covered here. They've been devised by Dr. Kripke, Dr. Revick, and myself. They'll include things like known environmental carcinogens, some of the newer assays to be able to measure them more precisely and more definitively. And we have a session that's devoted to uh, new biomarkers and new endpoints that might be used in studies, as well as then kind of a exploratory future looking area that's going to focus on potential preventive strategies that would be useful to uh, patients exposed. This is largely an exploratory conference and so we will hear about the latest biomarkers and ways to try to measure the carcinogenicity of various uh, exposures. Cancer prevention, a variety of different things, lifestyle measures, the things that we all were taught by our grandmothers and mothers, uh, but that so few of us do. So things like avoiding tobacco, eating a healthy diet, getting plenty of physical activity to try to maintain weight across the lifespan. Those are the things that are well established. This conference will concentrate on those that are less well established, things that might be related with cancer, that are associated with cancer development, but not yet shown to be definitively uh, causative, and therefore explore that whole area of potential things that would increase risk. Uh, with that foundation, then we can try to de determine how to avoid those, whether through occupational changes, um, measures to try to mitigate exposure, et cetera. Young investigators will benefit attending this meeting just as they do all ACR conferences, hearing the latest science, getting acquainted with the leaders in the field, uh, building uh, networks uh, of colleagues to be able to think about collaborative projects uh, going forward. The ACR is an essential source of support for this area of research and really cancer research more broadly. It uh, plays many different very positive roles from convener to publisher to advocate, um, helping to bring forward ideas and concepts to the public so that it raises general awareness. And uh, now, more recently with their uh, progressive efforts in policy, helping to affect the changes that can really have a very long and uh, lasting role against cancer. Thank you.